Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Tuesday the 19th of March 2024. I hope you are keeping well. If you if it's morning where you are, I hope you had a good night's sleep. Certainly better than the fitful sleep that I had last night. And uh, although I was really tired and uh, are ready to take on the day, fight the world. Metaphorically speaking, of course, not in actual fighting. Um, what's going on in the world? Well, uh, it's very easy to laugh at uh, kind of some scientific studies, or I would say, I would say scientific. Some are less than scientific. You know, we hear about the, if you've ever heard of the Ig Nobel Awards, I'm sure you know what I mean. Some of them are quite funny, but I just noticed a, a, an article in the Guardian that spoke about or wrote about um, uh, the fact that, according to uh, some new research. Uh, fridge magnets are a good aid memoir to your holiday. A good thing to help you remember, bring back memories of your holidays. Uh, fridge magnets. I'm just wondering. <laughs> somebody said, let's do a survey on fridge magnets and how good it <laughs> is for your memory of holidays. It just seems rather pointless, doesn't it? I mean, but I don't like to be reactionary about these kind of things. Sometimes. These kind of things start out with one idea in mind and lead to other ideas. So let's not be reactionary, but still, it is a bit daft, to put it mildly. Uh, anyway, let's get on with the game of Sudoku, shall we? This is a, uh, um, what is it, a medium level Guardian Sudoku puzzle for a Tuesday. Uh, I won't bother to explain the rules, but it's probably a very easy game. Most Tuesdays are, so if you don't know the rules, check out yesterday's game where I explain the rules. Fours block across here, that's going to put a four there. Three blocks across here, that's going to put a three there. That's what I noticed while I was thinking about fridge magnets. And I can now see, of course, that we've got threes like this, so that will also put a three there. One and two, at least, are missing here. I can see the one and two down there. One, two, five, so that's got to be a five because it can't be a one, it can't be a two. Uh, looks like the missing numbers in this column are eight and nine. We've got eight blocking here, so we'll have our eight there and eat it, and the nine in here, like so. Seven blocks across here, seven up there, there's a seven. Uh, missing numbers in this block are two, three, and nine. Three and nine are in the same row, so that's going to have to be a two. Now two blocks down there, that will give us the two there. And the missing number here, a one. So here we're looking for 3 and 9, down here we're looking for 1 and 5, and here and here we're looking for 4 and 8, so we've got the 8 blocking here, there's the 8, and that must be a 4. Missing digits in this uh, column comprise 4, 6, and 7. We've got 6 and 7 together. That then must be our 4. So 4 down, down, across, and across here will give us a 4 there. And 4 is going up here and there and across there. Means that's our first completed digit. We have all the 4s that we need. No, f no more fours. Thank you very much. Come back tomorrow. Now we have a nine across here and nine up there. So nine is in one of these two squares. It's got to be here or here. Whichever it appears in, it's got to block across there. So that will be our nine. And this will be our three now. Three across here and across here gives us three in that square, three down here and here and across there means that that's our last digit, three. Missing numbers here are what? Um, 
six, seven, I think. Any help on six or seven? No, not really. So these are not six or seven. They must be two, five, and eight. Any help on that? Uh, I'm going to say not enough help yet. Okay. Um... Should we start going through the digits to see if we can spot anything? No, we don't need to. We've got nine uh, blocking these two squares and nine blocking this square, so that's going to be a nine. Missing numbers in this row, six, seven, and eight. So we've got seven and eight together. That then is our six. And now that the 8 blocks this square, we know that's going to be 8 and that's going to be 7. Down here, we still need, what do we need, what do we need? 6, I think it's a 6. And 6 across here and there and down there will give us 6 in that square. 6 up here, 6 across there means that that's a 6. If you're new to Sudoku and this is a bit fast for you, just go back and watch it again until, you, until it becomes a bit clearer. 8 blocks here, that's going to put the 8 there, and this will be a 5. Missing numbers up here, 1, 8, 9. We've got 8, 9 together, so that's our 1. Two still needed in for the, for this column here, so two blocks across there, so that will be our two, and we'll finish that column with a seven. Seven also blocks down here and across there, so that's our seven. Um, eight blocks up here, that will give us eight in that square, and the missing number here, nine. 9 blocking down here and across there, there's our 9, that's the final digit 9 by the way. 5 stops this from becoming a 5, so this must be our 5 in this column, this will be a 1. 1 across here gives us 1 there, we still need a 1 in this row to finish this row. And in this block here we still need a 1 there. 2 blocks this square here, so that's our 2 for this block, and to complete this row, 5 will do it. Uh, not much more to go now, just a few little bits and pieces, let's see, can we get the other ones? Yes, we've got one blocking across here, so that would be the 1, that's the final digit 1, and the missing number here, 5. 5 across here will give us 5 in that square here, and 5 up there, and 5 across there means that's our final digit 5. We still need a 2 for this row here. Let's put it in and the 2 blocks down and gives us a 2 there. Here we are looking for a 7 and 7 blocks back up here so that will be the 7 and this will be 6. 6 blocks down here gives us 6 there and finally an 8 finishes the game. I should chat to you for a while because it's under 10 minutes and that means my video is not going to be pushed out by YouTube. Anyway Da, da 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 just twiddle your thumbs, chat around amongst yourselves for a little while. Oh, hope the intro always takes up a little bit of time. Maybe we're okay there. Anyway, uh, will I be playing other Sudoku games today? Uh, not sure. I shall try my best to get in one game. Whether or not I will succeed, I don't know. Bye-bye.